so to prepare for making these ghosts, I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I still messed up. And the first mistake I used made was by using the cling wrap and not putting any wax paper under it because if the cling wrap is so thin, if there was ever a little hole in it, everything would drip through right onto your plate. So you need another protective barrier like the wax paper. Next, I used Ashland Decorative Filler that was spray painted with the Tamaya Orange Translucent Spray Paint. I mixed up three ounces of resin. That is the one thing that I did learn. Three ounces of resin seems to be the perfect amount of resin. Dumped it in the middle of both, and both of them I totally messed up, and I ended up throwing them out. <laughs> so for the second one, I put the wax paper down first, then I put the cling wrap down, then I put the glass around the perimeter, and this time I just did it on one plate. I mixed up three ounces of resin, put the colorant in it and the glitter, and poured it around the perimeter to make sure it was touching all of the glass, and um, then poured the rest of it in and let it sit. And this time, uh, I, on the first ones that I made, the heads were flat because what I used for the tops were flat on the top. So this time I had couldn't find a round ball in the house. So I found this little pine cone and I went ahead and I wrapped tape around it to make a round head. I set it up on top of about five two ounce cups, which was another mistake. It was too high. And the first time I took this off that I thought it was done, it was just too drippy. You'll see it just drip, starting to drip down. So I, so I quick picked it up. You could see it dripping there. Quick picked it up and put it back onto the plate to um, cure some more. And then after about another hour, I picked it up again, set it on top. And this is the one you'll see at the very end that still had dripped down and made these like long legs. It was the one I think turned out the coolest, but it really is not the way it's supposed to turn out. So you need to make your cups a little bit shorter so that it can um, catch on the ground and not uh, spread out unevenly like it did. You'll see at the very end video. So then here, the next one that I did, uh, I did the exact same way, only I used orange beads instead of the glass. And I kind of like these orange beads better. These are for, up from Michael's in the bead section. Same three ounces of resin, glitter, uh, white mica powder, put it on, and look at that. I had let it set too long. <laughs> so <laughs> here I had another disaster. I tried to push it down and hold it down. I took a little cup and put it over the top and I couldn't get that on it. And then I used a larger cup and tried to put that on and it still wouldn't stay down. And I just said, forget it. And I tossed that one. So then I tried it again, <laughs> this time with a different resin. Um, the the, it doesn't, I don't know that it really matters the type of resin you use. It's just that you know the cure time and you have to know exactly when to take it off. And the only way you're going to be able to know that is with trial and error. So here I go all over again, beads around the perimeter of the plate, the same amount, three ounces of resin in the bottom, and this time it turned out perfect. And this was after four hours. So um, every resin is going to have a different cure time and you just have to experiment with it. So when you take it off and put it on top of your cup, this is exactly what it should look like as it falls, falls to the sides with the uh, saran wrap under it. And then here's another one that I made and after it set overnight, I went ahead and took the saran wrap out of the middle, and this is a little tedious, but um, it, it all ends up coming out. You just have to take your time and pull little by little out, and um, it's kind of cool. It releases from the side, and then you put a little, a uh, couple eyes and a mouth on it, and it looks so cute. Isn't he cute? He's all done. So here's my little ghosts. <laughs> some of them turned out and some of them didn't. And um, I just think they're so cute. I watched so many videos about them and everybody did some things a little bit different. And um, what I learned is it just depends on the main thing is the resin that you're using. And um, with this one, this sat, this, this is 
is so funny because I think um, this is the one that I messed up the most, but I think he turned off the coolest. Look at how he had dripped, look at dripped all down, but he actually stands, stands up really good and he looks very ghostly. <laughs> so I think, I almost think he turned out the coolest, but, um, but they're all, like I said, they're all, these three are similar. This one I did with the popcorn um, container head and it turned out flat. So you really have to have something round at the top to make it, oh, to make it rounded. <laughs> and, um, and then of course this one sat up too high. Maybe if it hadn't been sitting up so high and could drip down, it would have just kind of flattened out in, um, at the bottom. But I, like I said, this one, the one that I messed up the most, I almost liked the best. But I just think they're so cute um, and fun. they're fun to make. So with that, the resin that I had, it was best uh, probably four to five hours to take it off and put it on there because one of them that I actually tossed uh, came out, oh my gosh, uh, I forgot about it or I had to go somewhere and then forgot and so it had stiffened up too much. And so when I put it on the thing, it just stayed straight out like this. <laughs> Almost, and I kept on trying to push it down, push it down. I think I even put it in a cup and um, upside down, but it just it just didn't look right. But anyway, I thought these were cute. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified when new videos come out. We have a Facebook page, Crazy Glass Lady Glass and Resin Art. Um, you can get all your questions answered that there. there are a lot of knowledgeable people. And I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you.